Video out of Long Beach tonight showing sheriff's deputies allegedly using excessive force after pulling a man over for expired tags. A civil rights lawsuit now filed. We go live to Jessica O oh in Long Beach who spoke with the alleged victim. Jessica. Christine, this man says he was just doing his job when he was pulled over in this parking lot. He says before he knew it, deputies had him on the ground for those expired tags. There are people that were nearby with cell phones. They started recording, and what happened is now at the center of a federal civil rights lawsuit. Uh, to be honest, scared for my life. I didn't know what was going on because they didn't, it was without any warning. That is Andre Olivas on the ground being restrained by L.A. County Sheriff's deputies during a traffic stop in Long Beach in February. It appears one deputy is repeatedly punching him in the head. Olivas, who was on the job when all of this went down, says he wasn't given a chance to obey any commands. Everything that I want to do is comply and, and give them the information that they need. He says he was pulled over on East Carson Street because the truck he rented for work had expired tax. Olivas, who's from New York, says he didn't know anything about that and told deputies to call his company. But when he couldn't find his registration, deputies asked him to step out of his vehicle. I kind of feel that's what really escalated it was me asking to speak to a supervisor. Olivas says he was all of a sudden forced to the ground. That's when he started punching me, uh, striking me in my face. They went from immediately from questioning him to engaging in excessive force. Attorney James DeSimone has now filed a federal civil rights lawsuit, saying what LASD deputies are seen doing in this video goes beyond excessive force. Look, we all have the right to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures. And when officers engage in this type of excessive force, they are violating co constitutional rights. LASD officials say they have not yet examined the complaint, adding that Sheriff Alex Villanueva has been the most transparent sheriff in history and has implemented historic reforms in order to address potential misconduct. Olivas now hopes his case is addressed with transparency too, adding that the Sheriff's Department needs to be held accountable. He's an honest man who came out to do honest work and he ends up getting treated like this. And that man says he actually ended up suffering a traumatic brain injury because of all this and that even 10 months later, he's still feeling the physical effects. He and his attorney just really don't want this to happen to somebody else. Reporting live in Long Beach tonight, I'm Jessica O, oh, Fox 11 News. Jessica, thank